violins, yes, music. <laughs> we have to talk more about that because mm-hmm. there is. It's so motivating and inspiring for other people. It really has an effect on the entire psyche. Mm. So let's talk about one component. How, in your opinion, mm. to, does music affect the mind? What, I, I'm curious what your thoughts mm. on that, because that is what you're bringing to these individuals. How does music affect mm. the mind? Well, I think, I mean, in my just in my personal day-to-day yes. living, I notice how um, music has a profound effect on my mood, um, on my soul, right? You know, when I'm feeling a little bit um, rattled or whatever the case is, if I just put on some calming meditation music, I literally feel it seeping into my soul, and it just calms me down. So, I'm not an expert in this area, but again, from my personal experience, I can sense it has a calming effect. Yes, it has an enriching effect. I feel like I think it allows the brain waves to kind of settle into this pattern of where you start relaxing and you start dreaming and you start imagining. Well, I do anyway. Right. Yes. Yes. It and gets so the creative juices flowing. Exactly. It really does. Exactly. And so with these children, like I was sharing with you before, um, unfortunately, my, my country is one of so many um, diverse situations. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of abundance. There's a lot of poverty. Um, there's an enormous amount of ability in terms of um, just raw talent And so many of our African people have just been given these amazing gifts from God to sing and to dance and to express themselves. And there have been so many instances where there have been documentaries made of these young children that make instruments for themselves because they just naturally want to make music. They want to engage their community. Um, The African people are very kind of aesthetic. So whatever they do, if they're dancing, if they're working, if they, whatever they're doing, there's either a song accompanying it or there's a dance accompanying it. Yes. And so our excitement about this project is for these children to realize that this God given talent that they have can be grown. And once it's grown, who knows what it could lead to? We have stories, Shelley, of of people being um, turned into opera singers. Imagine yes. these people that have come from rural backgrounds that are now singing on international stage oh, around the world. Right. And so we think to ourselves, well, imagine you give this child the violin, you give the child the conditions to learn food, yes. the nourishment, the encouragement, all of that. The sky's the limit. These these babies could end up at Juilliard. We don't know.